here the requirement is i have to extract all the table data there on this acme web page and this data is spanning on multiple pages you can see it is there or available on multiple pages so i do not know how much data is there it could be 100 it could be 110 it could be anything so if i have to extract all the available data from a given web page how can i configure the data scraping that's we are going to learn okay so here uh, we will make it dynamic we will not constrain it with some numbers let's say 100 200 we are not going to do anything like that i want to extract all the available data so how this can be done first of all i am opening my uipath studio in the classic design view in case you do not see this data scraping all you have to do go to project do you know what to do what has to be done all you have to do hit on the project and hit on the project settings and then turn off the modern design experience okay anyone who got to know already knew this so let me know in the comments that you already knew this great so once i have turned it off it will ask you to reload reload the entire studio it is going to show you the data scraping wizard so we have got the data scraping wizard now let's stay on the backside page and i have to extract from the very first page right so hit on the first page and be there on the very first page go back to the studio hit on data scraping now here it is telling you to select that element all you do hit on next and select the element that you would like to extract it is automatically going to detect hey the cell that you have clicked right you selected a table cell would you like to extract the data from the whole table so it is automatically understanding this is a structured data and it is in a table format so here you have to say yes but here you can see it is only saying 100 so i can write 100 i have option to write 200 uh, i can write 300 but i exactly don't know right how much number of data is there so what should i do so here is the clue maximum number of results zero for all so here all you have to do delete the available data and simply write zero hit on finish okay this is the technique i am getting that error let me close it now it is telling you does this data available on multiple pages you need to highlight the next button wherever the next button is here so here this arrow is the next button so all i have to do hit on yes and i'm going to point that out to the next button so you have to understand to get the next page data that is the next link selector what we call okay so it is automatically got the activities for us the first activity is the attach browser the second activity is the extract structured data table and here the next link selector has been selected we have clicked on that arrow button right so it has selected that next link okay it has selected the next link it understood where to click and here the maximum number of results i have mentioned zero okay this is very important max number of results i have mentioned zero okay great now uh, all this data will be extracted to a variable called extract data table by default it, there is a variable created great now i have to write all this data to an excel let's use the excel because i'm using the classic uh, design so i'm going to use the excel application scope now tell me if you go for a modern design what is that activity that you should use so comment uh, write it in the comment Wh what exactly do we use for a modern design excel uh, activity instead of excel application scope now this is the classic activity i am going to hit on this button and i am going to point out to the file okay and in this file i want to write the data so i will select write range because I, I want to write the uh, and i should use the excel activity right i should not use the workbook activity because i am en enclosing this within the excel application scope do you know the reason why okay now here let's use that data table which is extract data table all right now what would happen in this sheet one this is the uh, excel file automated with rakesh and here the sheet one this is where it's going to write the data okay so this is completely blank let me save it now on the studio so everything is done now very one of the very important property while using right range of the classic activity you should go for add headers so that you will get the headers very simple okay so let me save it i have saved it now 
if I am going to hit on run, what's going to happen? Is it going to extract all the data or is it going to extract no data because I have mentioned zero? Okay, so let's see that. So let me hit on debug. So the execution has started, you can see. Okay, this means it's partially executed. Okay, it's going to take a bit of time because it's going to extract the data from the entire page. Okay, so it's supposed to extract. So you can see if I go back to the web page, uh, the page is getting refreshed automatically. Okay, now it has done the sixth page. Okay, it's extracted now, it went to seventh page. So it's extracting the data, it's doing its job. Okay, now went to ninth page. 10th page so it's extracting all the available data we are not restricting it to 100 or 200 or anything like that so it went to now the last page okay it went to the last page let's go back to the studio so now it has started writing into the excel got a green tick got a green tick okay everything is done all right all the steps has been done now let's see uh, let me open the excel file and you can see all the data has been extracted how what is the total number of data 110 so it becomes more dynamic right we are not resting the restricting the data to 100 rather whatever the available data are there i would like to extract okay so uh, i have a question for you so you see this green tick marks right how did i get this so anybody who knows how did i get this green tick mark while I'm debugging, right? Green, uh, first initially it was orange, partially executed, and then finally it all got green. So how did I get this? Does anybody know it? Please do comment in the comment section. Let's see who all can answer this. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. We are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care, bye-bye.